Welcome everybody to another uh, Tom's Tabletop Tools. Tom's Tabletop Tools. Did I just uh, coin a new phrase? I think I did. I think I coined a new phrase. Let me take off my spec tackle so I can see a little bit uh, closer up. Today I've got an interesting video for you. I've got a new product that I have acquired through a super, super slow boat from uh, Canada. Um, yeah, and we'll get into that in, in a minute. But I got this uh, this highfalutin double throwback sheath from uh, Skinth. Skinth. What do they call them? SkinthSolutions.com. SkinthSolutions.com. Check them out on the web. This uh, was not provided uh, to me. I uh, purchased this on my own accord because I needed uh, a way to carry uh, more crap and uh, I decided to uh, purchase one of these because I watched a video from a guy named uh, Work Hardened. He's a YouTuber as well. I think he's uh, you know kind of new to the making videos thing, but uh, he's, he's getting started. I watched one of his videos, happened across it, and decided I wanted one of them and and uh, so I ordered me one. And this is the extra large, whatever model this is, this is the extra large version. This is the one that's supposed to fit the Leatherman Surge with one bit, uh, you know, one of these bit holder deals. It's supposed to fit one bit bit holder deal with the Leatherman Surge and stuff like that. So we'll go into that um been uh wearing this at work for a week i think a week i've been wearing it at work for a week and um one of the things that i liked about the design of this was that it had this uh clip this heavy duty clip on clip that i was kind of interested in because i you know i like uh being able to take my tool on and off if I need to, you know, easily without, you know, taking my, my uh, belt off and having my pants fall down around my ankles. I was interested in this, and on my first night of wearing this, I noticed that uh, the bottom part of this was kind of digging into my side, and it was kind of bothering me for, you know, a few hours. And then um, after that, for whatever reason, I never noticed it again uh, throughout other days and throughout the rest of that evening. So... I don't know if this just kind of pushing on you differently than, than you're used to was just something I was noticing or whatever, but it was uncomfortable uh, for a couple hours, and then I never noticed it again. And this uh, ability to get your tool on and off, obey it not easily. I mean, you, you kind of have to hold this open with your thumbs like this, you know, and then slide your belt in. But... It's not easy to get it on and off, which is good because you don't want your, your tool falling off. Um, you can get it on and off, and I guess that's kind of what drew me to it. It's got really heavy-duty snaps, and I, uh, I really like the snaps over the Velcro. I think, uh, I think we're all over the Velcro thing, you know, uh, like, uh, like a case like this that's just, uh, just a great case, except they, they did that. That really, that really puts a little uh, dog piss in your lemonade, doesn't it? That is just not, that's just not ideal, right? So we all, we all kind of, we all kind of want snaps. If you are a, uh, a person who prefers Velcro to um, a heavy duty snap, you should probably seek professional help. Uh, so moving on uh, I really do like these snaps they are uh, fantastic I like them a lot this material is really thick heavy-duty canvas like material I don't know how to uh, describe it exactly it's uh, um, it's it's not like as thick as this material because there's like like you know what I'm talking about there's like a foam or something material in these you know um, sometimes on the sides like right here on the sides they're they're thick like this but anyway the point being is that this is some really heavy-duty uh, material and it's uh, stitched I got no complaints it's put together 
um, you know, really, really exceptionally well. It's sewn very well. It's, uh, you know, the, the craftsmanship is, is uh, really top notch. I can't speak to how long this will last, but there are several videos out there on YouTube uh, that claim that, you know, you can get, uh, you know, a long time, you know, that these will last a long time. So let me get my bit kit out of here. And this is actually a thicker uh, bit kit than uh, most people use. I was carrying a super tool, so I have the, the super tool bit kit in it right now. But the point is, is I want to show that uh, they claim that this will only uh, work with one. Um, let me see, do I have a, uh, a tool here? Yeah, here's my, is this my surge? Yeah. And here's the two bit dealios. Um, you can slide two of them in there. So there's two of them in there, right? Push them down all the way. So that's two bit kits. They claim that you can only use one. You have to get the uh, the extra large Amondo one if you want to use two, which is the one for the mutt. Um, you know, it's it's basically this exact same pouch with a longer uh, a longer top on it. Is so that's the same thing. Um, so that works. And then where's the surge? I don't have my glasses on right now because I'm trying to see the the screen on my camera at the same time. So. Uh, sucks getting old. So anyway, I've got my uh, surge. Here's my surge. Uh, here's my surge. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, put the surge in there. And you can, you know, cram that in there. Sit and flush at the bottom. See, the bottom part is open right here. So will this still close? And the answer to the question is, is uh, yes, it will. And now you're asking yourself, well, you didn't put the, uh, the bit extension uh, chingadera in there and all that. Okay, fine. Fine, here's the, the bit extension for the uh, surge. You can throw that over there on that side, which I really like. And then where's the other? Oh, here we go. Here's your saw blades, file blades, you know, some extra uh, file blades. And you can stuff that either by, let's see, fold it. It's getting caught up right there. But yeah, you can stuff that in that side. You can probably put one of them space saver, you know, cool EDC pens that everybody carries around. I mean, you know, it... Uh, it fits a lot of crap, even when um, they claim that it that it can't. It it clearly does fit. Um, it clearly does fit the surge with two uh, bit kits in it. So yeah, so I just wanted to show that um, in case. I mean, maybe the one with the taller thing fits better, but I'm just saying this one fits multiple different tools. And it will fit the surge with all of its uh, all of its uh, you know stuff packed in. You know, there's still plenty there's plenty of room to stuff some other stuff in there too. But uh, let's take the uh, surge uh, back out and put it away. It's just an easier way uh, to carry that stuff if you want. This is a very well made uh, sheath that's really nice in the bottom you can get this uh these bottom pockets to where they're open in the bottom or you can get them to where they're sewn closed i chose to have mine uh sewn closed uh again uh the uh, bit kit for the super tool super tool fits in there and it just you know basically swimming around you can i mean you can put you know a bunch of other stuff in there with this Okay, so let's move on. Basically, this is just going to be a video about, hey, what fits in the skinth? Because I haven't seen a video uh, like that. So I'm just going to kind of uh, kind of go through some tools here just to kind of, you know, show you how these fit. Okay, so you got yourself a charge or a wave, right? Okay, charge charge and wave fits in there and kind of kind of swims around a little bit. Plenty of stuff for the side, like a a lighter or a ferro rod or whatever EDC, you know, crap you've purchased. I like to put uh, another fart can. Uh, I like to put a mini pry bar 
on one side. That's my preferred uh, chingadera to put on this side. But that's just me. Maybe, you, you know, you've got, uh, you know, uh, a picture of uh, your baby mama on this side and a picture of your, your current mama on this side. Whatever, you know, whatever you want to put in there. I'm just saying there's a lot of room. You can put the clip over the top of the, the front dealio and then you can take your bit kits again. And now, well, what did I do with that other bit kit? Did I put it away? Yeah, I put the other bit kit away. So you take your second bit kit, if you're a second bit kit kind of guy, and yeah, with a with a waiver of charge, I mean you've got you've got a lot of room for stuff. That's just so anyway. Moving on from that, I'd say that if you're a wave and a charge guy, this is the perfect uh, setup. Uh, you can. I need to take this little mini screw, this little mini worthless screwdriver out of the top of this and put it somewhere because it gets caught on every every damn thing you uh, try and you know it's at the top and it gets hung up on every sheath there is. I'll just put that off to the side. I'll probably lose that in about three seconds. Watch, it'll be on camera. You'll see me watch. You'll see me lose that. That's the Leatherman Charge. We got a couple of bit kits out. Um, well, we, ha we haven't talked about that yet. Okay, so what about what about if you're a, a SOG fan? Are you a SOG fan? Are there any SOG fans out there? Yeah, I see a couple of you way out there in the back. All right, SOG. Uh, this is the power, of s power assist, right? Is this the power assist? Yes, that is the power assist, which is one of my faves. It's one of my faves, people. Okay. Um, well, with the power assist, you're not really going to use any kind of bit kits with it. Uh, but let's say you had the uh, the other one, the uh, power, what's it called? The power access, whatever it's called. The same tool without the, uh, you know, the semi-automatic knife. So there you go. So here's a bit kit. This is a Gerber bit kit, but you get the picture. Same kind of bit kit. Uh, SOG, uh, you could carry some sort of extension with a SOG because it's got a quarter inch uh, driver. So you could put a, a quarter inch, you know, bit driver on this side. So will this fold up? Uh oh. So this one will require the MUT uh, version, the which I think they call the MUT version. So yeah, so you SOG guys are kind of ass out, it's looking like. And I'm kind of a SOG guy, so hmm. Ah, oh, man, I might have to order another one of these, the larger one now. I mean, I can get one snap on, but... Huh? No, I got it snapped, but it's not ideal. All right, so kind of a kind of a bummer for the SOG. But anyway, that's what this video is about, what fits in this thing and what does not. What will you need the bigger one for? What will you not? Uh, man, this, this, uh, this sheath doesn't look taller but i guess i guess it is um obviously well will a uh will a swiss tool fit in there with all its uh with all of its accoutrement let's find out okay so we got the swiss tool in there it snaps easily i just check that up front that way we can stop and let's get the accoutrement out so here's the swiss tool with all of its accoutrement and then we got uh the little uh, uh, dealy. Oh man, if you put that in there, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to walk on your hands to get this back out. Um, I can't do that. Uh, my physique will not permit me walking on my hands. That would be a good way to get a concussion uh, for me personally. I don't know about y'all. So anyway, uh, maybe carry this in your teeth or something. Or if you really do need it, put it on the side and. Uh, you know, uh, fish it out with the plier head. I, I don't know, but this, you know, this is kind of too deep. That's kind of too deep to uh, reliably put it in there, you know, with the uh, Swiss tool case. Yeah, see, with the Swiss tool case, they've got a spot for it to where it's shallow. But anyway, we lost it in there. Um, but this, this closes uh, beautifully. This fits the Swiss tool. 
uh, and it's still got room to carry more crap, you could get the Swiss tool ratchet, put it on that side. Um, I mean, this holds a lot of crap, and it's way less bulky than this monster, right? I really like this case, though. This is one of my favorite uh, sheaths, but it really pisses in the lemonade with that. Um, so, anyway... So that really works well, other than if you're a corkscrew guy. I don't know why you would be a corkscrew guy, but uh, maybe you got some wine to open. I don't know. I mean, I'm not here to judge you. Do you want to open some wine? Go right ahead. I mean, I'm not here to... See, that goes right in there and it stops. See how it sticks up? See, that's a beautiful thing right there. And then the Swiss... You know, I just noticed that I'm missing a bit right there. Boy, that's irritating as hell. Right off the, right off the bat, one of my bits is missing. Ain't that a bitch? Anyway, I got to figure out where that went. But anyway, I like how this slides in the back and not the front. I, I mean, I prefer if you, you know, the, I like the bits in the, in the kit and the accoutrement to be in the back. You know, that's just the way I prefer it. And then you put down the, the front there. Okay. So what else do we got here? What if, what if you're a uh, tried and true uh, MP600 guy? I got any MP600 fans out there? And uh, yeah, you guys might be so far in the back I can't see you. But uh, a quick mention on the Gerber MP600, man. This is still a badass multi-tool. Tried and true, made in America. Uh, you can get these super cheap. And they might not be the latest, greatest thing to where, you know, you're excited about it or whatever. But if you need a tool that works well, mm, 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 mm. hard to shake a stick at one of these for, you know, less than half the price of some of these other ones you've just seen on the table. But uh, anyway, MP600, does the MP600 fit? That is a negatory MP600 is a little bit too tall. I went through all of that telling you how awesome it is only to have it not fit in the skimp. Uh, so this also will uh, would require the taller um, uh, one for the mutt. You know the mutt version of this would have to you know you'd have to you'd have to do that for this one. That, uh, that's kind of a bummer. It almost fits but no cigar. Okay you know, it's interesting though. I wonder if it fits the, here is the center drive, which I am a big fan of, by the way. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely on the uh, Gerber train. I, I'm, uh, I'm a big fan of Gerber when they don't give me something made in China and it's just a big hunk of chinesium. I, uh, I, I really love what Gerber can do when they want to. But anyway, I love the center drive. It's probably uh, one of my most carried multi-tools. I'm a big fan. So it's interesting that the center drive is shorter. Um, it's not as tall, and it works uh, fantastic. So you don't need a, a bit extender with the center drive but if you did like you needed like a foot of reach or close to a foot of reach you do have uh, some room to add that with this and here is a uh, a bit kit this is a Gerber bit kit and it fits you know beautifully right in the front so um, center drive people um, if there are any of you out there besides me works really well for the center drive but I would argue here's my argument to using this for the center drive do you use this um, over the one that Gerber has this this sheath right here is badass this is uh, this is super badass um, love 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 this sheath so do you do you buy a skinth if you've got this, I guess you would if you wanted the bit extension kind of thing like we had spoke about, like you need close to a foot of uh, reach. 
but uh, otherwise, I, I don't think that you trade the skinth for this beautiful piece of American-made leather right here. Is this American-made? Yep, made in USA. Stamped right there without my glasses on. So that's got to be true, right? Um, yeah, I really like this. I, I wear this all the time. It's it's and, and part of the reason that I carry the uh, the center drive a lot is because I really love this case. So what? Wait a minute. What if, dude? I'm all about keeping it real, guys. Can you use this for if you're a Leatherman guy? See, here's you a bit kit. No. Uh, one bit kit fits in there, but not two. Ooh, man, Gerber, you you, you missed a you missed an opportunity there to uh, to suck in a whole bunch of Leatherman guys. Hmm. But yeah, if you wanted to carry uh, one bit kit and say a, a charge, yeah, that fits. That fits. But you'd have to take your uh, bit kit out to get your. <laughs> to get your uh, multi-tool out but not really but um, but anyway here's my uh, here's my setup for my uh, center drive we'll be talking about the center drive in a in an upcoming video I want to weigh in on my opinion on that okay and last we have just on the table I just grabbed some uh, tools that were handy dandy for me here is the uh, Leatherman P4, and I guess, uh, you know, there's no reason to carry a bit kit with this until I modify this, by the way. I will be modifying this in an upcoming video, and it will have a bit exchanger soon. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you're interested in a, um, a modified... Uh, Leatherman P4 we're gonna add a, a bit exchanger so you can you know use the Leatherman bits and whatnot but if you had one of these and you wanted to uh, use this uh, sheath uh, it kind of fits in there exactly pretty much exactly like the charge does maybe it's a little taller um, you know I think for the I think for the charge and the The charge and the P4, I think both of these, unless you wanted to carry a bunch of extra stuff in here, I think you could go with the smaller one. Like if this thing buttoned down here, this would fit better. So maybe this one is a little bit uh, too large for these two tools and fits um, the Surge really well. Fits the Surge really well. Fits the... Um, Swiss tool really well does not fit the SOG does not fit the MP600 um, it does fit the center drive really well it fits all of the uh, iterations of the super tool the super tool fits in here and all the iterations of the super tool fit in here real well so that's pretty cool and then here's this other thing that I bought on a whim this little uh, pocket uh, organizer thing. I thought I was going to have a use for this, but so far I have not even used it. But I thought I'd show it to you because I bought it. Um, it's got a place for a couple of pins right here. And I think, you know, I'll use this in more of a, of a, of a off-duty kind of thing, you know, or off-work kind of situation as opposed to carrying this at work because when I'm at work, I've got a tool bag and all that kind of stuff. So doesn't really make sense for me to use this uh, at work when I've got room to you know to carry tools in other ways um, but like if I was wearing shorts and I needed to carry my let's say for instance I'm carrying uh, in the future I'm carrying my uh, my p4 and I've got my favorite bits well I'm gonna throw my favorite bits in here I think yeah, there we go. Holds them, holds them pretty secure. Wow. Okay, so I got you know my favorite bits, you know there, and then I can carry the other one over here. I think I don't know. I think this might need some. Yeah, this might need some stretching out. Let me see if I put them over here. 
Yeah. So I can carry a couple of uh, bit cards. That's what I was trying to say all this whole time. Bit card. Damn it. Anyway, so from uh, here on out, uh, previous uh, mentions of uh, that are uh, meant to be bit card. Okay. All right, so you can hold a couple of bit cards, you know, on one side right there. There's your bit cards. Uh, this side's got a pen. This side has got a file or a nail uh, trimmer, something like that. You know, maybe you've got your uh, saw and your other file over here. You know, it's just kind of a cool uh, stick it in your cargo pocket kind of dealio here that, that I really like. I think it's going to come in handy. Okay, guys, well, that's all I got for you today, except for uh, the final thing, and I'm going to put it at the end because I doubt very many people are going to have made it this far. But there are some negatives to this. The negatives for the first time ever are not with the product itself. I just want to tell you about the, uh, the experience of buying this from Canada. It, it, have you ever ordered something from Banggood or, or something of that nature, you know, to where, you know, they put it on a slow boat from China and you get it in a month or two or something like that? Well, that's what, what happens with this as well. You order this thing. This took over a month for me to get. For me, would be if it didn't take so damn long to get. And then you're, you're thinking to yourself, well, I mean, everything that's good uh, you know, sometimes it takes uh, some time to make, you know, to get to you. I mean, this is handmade. They make it when you order it, or at least that's the story that you read on the website, you know. Um, I just think this company has got something here that's really good. But it's, I mean, I'm just speaking from my own experience. Maybe your mileage may vary that uh, something taking over a month for me from the time I order it to the time that I get it at my house, that really took away from the enjoyment of purchasing this and really uh, makes me think twice about ordering another one. For me, that was a really big detractor. I mean, uh, okay, it, it comes from Canada. Uh, maybe it takes two weeks to get but not not five weeks right i mean that just seems excessive this company is really doing something great their designs are great this sheath is great but i would really love to see them do something about this you know strapping their shipment to a turtle and just cutting the turtle loose and hoping that it arrives at your house i mean I just really felt like that detracted from my overall experience, and I just wanted to share that with you. So uh, that being said, that's uh, this edition of uh, Tom's Tool Top, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one on that end.